In this video, we will focus on data modeling in the cloud application program model, having a look at the metadata, the or data metadata effectively coming from the entities and services of CAP, deploying the data model to a database, in this case SQLite, and we'll have a look at the CS, CDS CLI and the capabilities behind. So let's get started and enhance our data model, our bookshop application. So we have a books entity already, and I want to further enhance it with a author entity. And what we could do is we can stop our server with control C and start it again with npm start to have a look if the entity is available. If we do that, we should actually see a new entity called authors. But because it's only in our schema CDS and not within a service, it's not exposed as a OData service. Therefore, we will add the entity also to our service definition, the catalog service. And as you could already see, the Business Application Studio offers auto completion. Um, and I can simply uh, auto complete the offers entity. All right. Um, I could now again stop the server with Control C and start it again. But instead, we will use another command by CDS, which is called CDS watch, restarts the server whenever there is a file change. So using CDS watch um, is actively monitoring CDS files, season files, ESV files, uh, TypeScript files, JSON files, property files, XML files, etc. and starts the server whenever there's something changed again. All right, so let's open the application once again in a new tab. And as you could see, the offers entity is already there because we exposed it using the service. If we have a look at the metadata document, there should also be the properties we have defined in our entity or the schema CDS with the ID and the name. So the data model is pretty basic right now. So let's just connect those two entities and add a relationship between them so we can navigate from A to B and create a relationship. For example, the book always have a offer. For example, therefore we can use a association to an offer. And what you could already observe is that the server was restarted because there was a change in the schema CDS. If we refresh the page and have a look at the metadata, there should already be a referential constraint that the offer is always referring to the offer ID of the type catalog service offers. All right, so let's also do that for the books entity uh, for the offers entity and add the relationship to books. And once I save the file, you can observe in the terminal that the server is restarted, and we should get the corresponding metadata also in the offers entity, referencing the um, catalog service books type. So what we wanted to do in the last exercise is to access the data from the database. So let's just stop the server and start it again with npm start. And let's have a look at the output once again on the console. If we click on books, we don't get any data. And the console says that there is a database connection missing. Therefore, we want to deploy our project to a SQLite database, which is a file-based database directly in our project structure. Before we can do that, we need the SQLite free package. 
and we only want to have it for the development environment. If we open the package JSON and have a look what happens, the SQLite free package will get its own section named development dependencies. Here we go. Then we can use the CS CLI to deploy the project to SQLite. Therefore, we use CDS and have a look what the deploy mechanism needs. It is actually CDS deploy dash dash to SQLite and then the database name. So let's do that. CDS deploy to SQLite bookshop DB. And we'll also have a look at what the package JSON will look after that. As you can see, we have a new section in the package JSON, which is called CDS, and it refers to that we have a database of kind SQLite, and the database itself is called Bookshop DB, which you can already find in the project structure over here. Project, and there's two different ways to access the database. We could, on the one hand side, use the SQLite free command line tool, and say, I wanna open the Bookshop DB file and give me the tables. And as you can already see, my underscore bookshop underscore offers and my underscore bookshop underscore books are the entities of my schema CDS. And the catalog service underscore offers and the catalog service underscore books are views defined in my catalog service CDS, exposing data from the underlying table or the corresponding underlying table, my bookshop offers and my bookshop books. And we can now say, for example, select from there's no data in there. Or say, give me number of lines. So there's no data yet. Loading data we will handle in the next video, but I will give you an introduction into how you could also access the database. There is a SQL tools icon on the left-hand side where we can create a new connection. The database driver in this case is a SQLite node native driver. We um, need to provide the file name. And test the connection and the connection was successful. So we saved the connection, connect now. And you'll see the connection on the left hand side with two views and two tables with the corresponding information of the tables and views. If you wanna have a look behind the scenes, how CAB is generating the data model or the artifacts which are deployed to the database, you could use, for example, CDS compile which processes models selectively. So let's do that. We can say CDS compile um, my schema.cds. Um, and it generates a so-called season file, which is the information for cap at runtime, but we could also compile it to um, schema.cds to SQL. And you'll get the SQL statement or the data definition language um, for 
cap to deploy it to the database. You could also do other things like um, compile to a OData metadata file, which you could, for example, provide to other colleagues which want to build the UI already without having any service implementation, without any data, etc. And you'll get the whole EDMX file, which we could already see also using the UI. So that's it for the meantime. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.